Tamor Trevon McIntyre, born June 16th, 2000. Also known as TK, the rapper that was sentenced to 55 years after cutting off his ankle monitor and running from the police. Tamor Trevon McIntyre, guilty of the lesser included offense of murder. He's currently facing the sad reality of his life. Recently tweeting, I just need one chance at adulthood. I feel like a hamster in here. They're literally treating me like a ferret in here right now. These tweets don't contain all of the context that's needed for all these cases. So let's do a quick recap on how TK ended up in prison for 55 years. TK's father was in prison during the time he was growing up. During that time, he lived in Las Vegas with his mom and sister. But when he was eight years old, his father was released from prison and he moved the family to Arlington, Texas in search of a better environment. That didn't work out very well. TK attended Martin High School, but dropped out in the ninth grade. TK started his rap career as part of the rap group Daytona Boys alongside rappers Pimpies and Santana Sage around 24. The first known violent crime TK was involved in dates back to New Year's Day 2016. TK was a passenger in an SUV that just left a performance they were having for New Year's. Sarah Much Lessner was driving friends home in Denton, Texas when rappers who were at the same party were driving next to them. One of the five men in the SUV allegedly said he wanted to F both Sarah and the other girl in the car, and words were exchanged. Eric Johnson, aka Santana Sage, shot at their car, striking her in the head and killing her while TK was in the car with him. Now, obviously, TK wasn't the trigger man in this situation. Situation, but it shows the environment he was in as a young kid. In July of 2016, TK faced his first major legal issue, where he and six other people were arrested on capital murder charges related to a home invasion, which ended the life of Ethan Walker in Mansfield, Texas. On July 26, 2016, Megan Holt and Ariana Barrett conspired with TK and some other friends to rob 19-year-old Zachary Belote. The two girls planned to seduce Zachary and then proceed to let all these guys in, essentially setting him up to steal the drugs and money in the house. One of the two women unlocked the door and the gunman proceeded to rob Belote and his friend Ethan Walker, which led to a fatal confrontation in the death of Walker as they were attempting to leave. The two other non-fatal gunshot wounds were sustained and Zachary survived. Take admitted his role in this botched robbery, but maintains that he did not pull the trigger and says someone killing someone was not part of the plan. The prosecutors alleged that TK recruited the trigger man. So TK was the reason that the trigger man was there at this robbery in the first place. Still, he was involved in planning of this robbery, so he is at fault for the death of an innocent person even if he didn't pull the trigger. He was arrested and placed on house arrest in January 2017 while awaiting certification hearings. A few days before said hearings, TK cut off his ankle monitors and fled to San Antonio, Texas. Just before cutting off his ankle monitor and going on the run, TK tweeted, F*** this house arrest shit. 12, they gonna have to catch me on hood. You would think anyone on the run with capital murder charges would just lay low and not do anything illegal. Of course, TK didn't think of that. He did some worse shit. Within a month of cutting his ankle monitor off and going in the run in San Antonio, Texas, TK was involved in another murder. TK was in an SUV when he shot and killed 23-year-old photographer Mark Anthony Saldivar after stealing his camera equipment, according to the lawsuit filed by the victim's mother. Mark tried to stop them from taking the camera equipment and fleeing by jumping on the hood of the SUV. They pulled up at the Chick-fil-A parking lot with him on the front hood. TK gets out of the car and allegedly pulls out his weapon and, and shoots him and kills him. Leaves him in the street to die. And this is all while he's on the run for another murder charge. So he clearly did not learn his lesson at this point in time. In May of 2017, TK savagely beat a 65 year old man, leaving him unconscious with multiple broken bones, his brain bleeding. McIntyre dragged the old man's body off the trail in this park and left him for dead in the woods. Uh, hand me your wallet. You know, the second time it was, I have a gun, hand me your wallet. 65-year-old Skip gun. Peppy was on this walking trail in Cravens Park two Thursdays ago, broad daylight. At first, he thought the young man with the gun was joking. I looked at him and I said, get the hell out of here. It happened just feet from houses, just a few yards from cars passing on Silo Road. And I was trying to make my way, not running, but, you know, walking real fast. And you know, I'm, I'm wa waving him, trying to wave him down and say, you know, stop, stop, I'm being robbed, help me, help me. And that's the last thing I remember. Arlington police say Pepe was assaulted and robbed. These are pictures of him just hours after the attack. He has bleeding on the brain, numerous scrapes and bruises, and three fractured ribs. I mean, to me, it was attempted murder, not, you know, assault. After allegedly killing someone and beating up an old man, TK finally decides to leave the state of Texas and go to New Jersey, where he recorded his hit song, The Race. But on June 30th, 2017, he was captured by U.S. Marshals. When McIntyre was captured in order to avoid custody, he claimed to have swallowed a bottle of pills and was taken to the hospital. When nothing was found wrong with him, he claimed that he was hearing voices and was taken to a psychiatric ward for evaluation, where he was kept for a day and a half before taken to custody. So I tweeted 
tweeted something a little controversial that has people mad on Twitter. I said, TK was involved in a deadly home invasion, cut his ankle monitor off and went on the run. On the run, he was involved in killing someone at a Chick-fil-A, which he's the alleged trigger man, and then beat the shit out of an old man, almost killing him and robbing him. He had more than three chances to fix his behavior. Don't free him. I don't really see a possibility of him being freed. I was just saying this trend of defending TK is ridiculous. I also tweeted, I also like his music guys, but violent behavior can't be tolerated. Someone said, you a hater, bro. I said, yeah, totally. The fact that people are defending someone that's involved in three separate murders is insane. And that's all we know of. There's probably more. Let's be honest. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. <laughs> huh? What the hell did I do? Dealing with the Texas court system, you gotta know better. That's a good point. I don't know how he had the balls to do this in Texas and Florida, especially. Anywhere, obviously it's bad, but those two states don't play games. He got 55 years because he was in Texas doing this bullshit. You gotta think about that. And don't free Melly or Thug if he's guilty, right? No. I mean, yeah, if Melly and Thug get proven to be involved in murders, don't free them. I love their music, great artists, but if you're involved in murders, you shouldn't be a free person. Why would anyone want violent people in society? These people that defend TK would not be defending him if it was one of their family members that got smoked by him. If one of your family members died to someone, you would not be defending them. He was also a child. Children shouldn't be tried as adults, and if they are, second chances should be provided. He was 16 and 17, bro. You're not a fucking idiot. You know robbing people with a gun and murdering people is wrong period point blank take a tweeted i bet if i was a little white kid they wouldn't have gave me no 55 years for a crime i was alleged to play the most insignificant role in when i was 16. they would have rightfully argued that my mind wasn't fully developed and gave me rehabilitation and a second chance at adulthood one of my co-defendants was a white girl who was 16 just like me they didn't certify her as an adult but they certified me and pimp as adults pimp got 30 years i got 55 years she ended up getting 10 years of probation without no deal that girl at home right now the difference between that girl and you, she didn't go on the run and do a handful of other violent crimes and make an entire career out of flexing that you're going on the run. Obviously, I don't approve of white people getting better sentences, but he left out a tons of context that the white girl didn't do. Someone replied to this tweet, bro, you killed two people, beat and robbed an old man, cut your band off from house arrest, ran from authorities multiple times, made a song, carried illegal weapons, all at 16. The sad reality is that TK was involved in multiple violent crimes. And when you live in a state like Texas and you're involved in multiple violent crimes, your right to be a free person is taken from you. And now he's tweeting all this stuff to make people feel bad for him, but it's like, bro, you've made your bed. Now you have to lay in it, TK. You chose to do these things. And I know it's sad that TK's adult life is pretty much taken from him, but he chose to do this and there's consequences to his actions. And it's a sad situation. This kid's life is pretty much over because he chose to do fucked up shit to people. I want to feel bad for him, but I kind of don't. Comment down below your opinions. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Love you boys. Peace out.